the surrender wow. vote has come out. SK Gaming call it. Now they're down 2-0 in the best of five. There was some problems with Niff. We knew, kind of knew he was going to leave. As you could see in the first two relegation games, he didn't really make the same calls as he used to. They really need to shake off some rust here if they want to bounce back. But we had a talk and he picked it up and yeah, we won. The Nexus going down in 500 HP. SK splits themselves back into the LCS. So yeah, our goals for this season was always to just avoid relegation. It's like the worst thing you have to go through. It's really stressful. After the first three weeks, basically, everyone was like counting us as an already relegated team. Week one loss versus Fnatic was definitely like the biggest loss because I think none of our LCS losses was like that big of a stomp. That's the ace for Fnatic. And in the first El Clasico, Fnatic absolutely wiped the floor with SK Gaming. And I was like so frustrated because I was like, damn, this is not working out. Then we like reset our team mindset and after that losses went frustrating. As the season went on, then we started expecting more and more from ourselves. We all kind of opened up a little bit more because before we were all just completely new to the team except Candy Panda. And then we picked up the sport psychologist. We had more team synergy. We started climbing up the, the whole bracket, um, only having Gambit on our side in the top two. I think it was in week seven or something where we like, we had a really good week. Like we actually realized, okay, we can actually beat the top teams. Rocket goes down, we see Niff going down, we see Shook going down, Tap goes down, Alliance are falling left, right, center. SK Gaming just closing in to finish this game. We were consistently performing good and other teams went up and down throughout the whole season. You just have it to give it to these guys. They formed as a brand new team, effectively, and my God, teams really have to respect them now. We didn't want to get cocky. Even at week nine, we were like, still aim for top four. I think there were like two victories that were really important, but one especially was week 11 versus Fnatic. The Karma speed bump is there, the explosive cast being used, but nothing can stop SK piling on through this base and taking top spot for their own. Gave us a really, really good chance at getting first place. Everyone seeing us, us as one of the teams that would do really bad and like be in the bottom the whole season. And then we just explode and go to the top. Both Nexus and Sorix go down, the Nexus itself is finished off, and SK finished top. Absolutely incredible turnaround season from them. I feel like every one of us has earned a place where we are right now because of the consistent hard work and the motivation we have put into it. I think this season was more about us earning that respect. You can already see like we get more fans or we get more recognition for being first place. I think people will start recognizing us as a top team if we do well at playoffs. In the end, if we win in the best of three, best of five, something in a longer series, not just one or two games, I feel like that can maybe change minds of people.